We're in Osage City, Kansas at the Osage City Cemetery. We're going to visit the grave of Baby Faye as she is the very first successful recipient of a baboon heart transplant. We use the word successful loosely here. It depends on what you consider if it is in fact a success or not. We're going to visit her grave. I'm going to tell you the story really quickly as I walk towards her grave. Stephanie Faye Buclair Drew was born on October 14, 1984. During a routine ultrasound being done by the doctor, he notices that the baby's heart on the left side is not fully formed as it should be. This condition is called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Now, I believe in all cases of congenital heart defects uh, this occurs in about two to three percent of all infants now when the baby's born basically the doctors tell the parents this uh, the baby's time on earth is not going to be long at all if a heart transplant is not done now here's a problem with doing a heart transplant on a baby number one you need a heart and how many babies out there are born totally healthy and fine and then they all of a sudden die and you're able to get the baby to a hospital in time while the organs are still uh, good to use getting it into the recipient that doesn't happen very often most babies born uh, are healthy and fine so you're gonna always have a case like that where there's just not going to be much of if any of a supply so the doctor tells the parents that the baby might have maybe a month to live if that unless a transplant is done now one of the doctors suggests that hey we could do a xeno transplant basically a animal to human transplant so the parents looking at possibly a, a definitive death sentence of their baby versus a very experimental procedure that might not work necessarily but will at least buy them some time until possibly they can get the heart of a newborn to uh, transplant into baby Faye. So about a week after the baby's born, they take the heart of a baboon and they transplant it into the baby. Now, the problem with calling this a successful uh, surgery or a successful xenotransplant is that the baby only lived another 20 some odd days. Uh, the baby was only a month old when she died. Now, the doctors that were doing this uh, experimental surgery they knew that she wasn't going to live very long the number one reason was because the blood types baby Faye was a type O and the baboon heart was AB only 1% of all baboons have this you know O type blood and they only had 7 baboons on hand and they were all AB type and I don't know if they had anti-rejection drugs back then that they could give to the baby to ward off the body basically rejecting a what it considers a foreign substance within the body to buy this some time to do the uh, transplant now sadly the baby would go on to die on November 15th 1984 uh, since then however uh, there's been successful heart transplants not with newborns but with just people uh, you have Geraldine Keck who is still going strong today at 91 years of age she received a heart transplant 30 years ago and she's doing just fine uh, and you also have Larry Plo who suffered a major heart attack back in 1985 when he was 41 years of age they give him a heart transplant and as of 2021 at the age of 77 uh, he is still alive 
and he's doing just fine so the technology of uh medical when it comes to anyways heart transplants liver transplants and all that we're fine with that the heart transplant has advanced very very rapidly in the last uh 30 to 40 years and uh this is the grave right here of she's known as baby fay stephanie fay buclair drew as you can see the birth and the death dates that right side up and uh this looks like this possibly is uh maybe the father or relative so i want to talk about uh what i was reading online about this story i found it so interesting is uh, the amount of people that basically have said uh, how unethical this was to to do such a risky drastic surgery that's that almost can say has come out of the books of old horror movies like frankenstein or something like that I find it utterly ridiculous that people would say such nonsense because, well, you gotta call it the way it is. This wasn't your baby. You weren't, you didn't birth a baby that was given an automatic death sentence. Of course, as a parent, you're gonna do everything and anything that you can to save your baby's life. Even if it means doing something so drastic such as this just uh, to buy some time with your baby and let me say this i don't know in the future nowadays what they do in situations like this but you know modern medicine is advancing so rapidly that hopefully in the next 50 to 100 years something like this would have been you know a thing of the past a baby dying a baby being born with a defective heart and it is rare but it does happen so it's quite easy to say oh that's wrong what they did again saint your baby and it's not happening to you so it's easy when you're sitting on your couch or you're in your study uh, blowing on your pipe to talk down on others when instead you need to put yourself in the position of others Rest in peace to Baby Faye. Okay, guys, I am out of here. I'm hitting the road. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I did not know that uh, heart transplants were becoming such a success. And I was very uh, elated to find a couple stories of people receiving human heart transplants and them living productive lives always be thankful for your health i tell you it we are all every single one of us we are one doctor's phone call away from hearing very life-changing news so always remember to value your life value your health value your youth live but not live, still alive by the grace of God. I am Lamont at large. I will see you on the next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.